Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would finally share with you guys my skincare routine. So kind of recently I decided to really get some products that aren't just like your normal like moisturizer, toner, whatever. I wanted to actually get some products that were, you know, specific for specific things. Get a bit more technical, I'll show you. So basically I'm just going to talk you through, I'm going to apply my morning skincare and then I'll talk you through what I do at night. If I'm in the shower, I have two cleansers. I have either my scrub, which is the Glow Lab Brightening Exfoliator. I really like this as a scrub. It's like a natural one, so it doesn't have any plastic in it. However, I do find it to be a little rough, and it's not the best at removing makeup. I also have the Sweet Almond Cleanser by Swiss, which is for just like a gentle everyday wash. But again, I... It doesn't really get off my makeup. So obviously that's not a concern in the morning, so we'll get to that in a second. So the first thing I apply to my face every single day, cannot live without it, I've gone through it pretty quickly, <laughs> is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, this is the 2% plus B5. So I just apply a couple of drops of that all over my face. I think hyaluronic acids sh acid should be a part of everyone's skincare routine regardless, I mean I'm no expert, but I think it should be regardless of whether you've got dry or oily skin because it basically, from my understanding what it does is it pulls in the moisture from the air and oily skin still needs to be moisturised, um, even though that might sound counteractive. I do actually have pretty like normal to dry skin so that doesn't apply for me but it's just such a great product because it really helps to deeply moisturise your skin I find. The next product I freaking love, this is getting more into the expensive side. The Ordinary is quite reasonably priced, you can get it on Adore Beauty. But this is on the more expensive side, but this is Antipodes. I love Antipodes skincare, it's all cruelty free. This is the Apostle Skin Brightening Serum. This looks super weird and dark brown, but this stuff, I swear, I used this once when I was younger and then I finally took the splurge again to get it. Um, a couple months ago and this stuff I swear I notice a difference like it is insane so I pretty much put this on every single day as well so it's just like this thick I don't know if I can show you like kind of brown rub it onto your face it can go a little white oh my hands are so cold it's so cold um, this really I feel like just brings that may have been a little bit too much brings the life back into my skin mm. it just I don't know what it does but I feel like it actually just brightens my skin in terms of like it just makes it so glowy and alive and I run it a little bit down my neck as well I usually put the skincare right down my neck but I'm wearing something that you can't actually go that far down today the order you're supposed to go in is something like this which is like a water based and then you put on your more like oil based or I don't actually know if this is oil based or not but then you put on like your serum so you put like your water based thing on first then your serum then your moisturizer is my understanding I had to do a lot of research into this because it's so confusing if you're interested in the ordinary products I can't remember her name but I'll link it there was a really helpful video I watched that was amazing next is an eye cream this is another antipodes it's the kiwi seed oil um, eye cream and I really think I know I'm young I don't have wrinkles or anything but in terms of kind of having hollow hollow eyes I guess and you know not much life there I think an eye cream definitely helps and I don't think it's ever too young to start if you want to start so I just gently apply some of this I can actually hear my dog snoring on the couch behind me <laughs> bless his little soul for my daily moisturiser, I'm not as fussed by it. This is just the one I have at the moment, which is Natural Instinct Nourishing Facial Moisturiser. I kind of switch up my daily moisturiser quite often. And I will put on my facial spray. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And I often just spray that on at the end or um, after I put on my makeup or just any time during the day when I want to freshen up. So I love this, I love the smell of this. That's my general day routine, but sometimes I will switch it up and instead of the um, brightening serum, I will apply, I, I should do it once a week, but it probably ends up being once every two weeks, I'll apply my ordinary vitamin C. So this is vitamin C suspension 23% with hyaluronic acid spheres 2%. So um, a lot of that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But it's basically just a vitamin C, which is really good for your skin. It can actually act as a sun protector. Vitamin C can cause like irritation if you're not used to it. I was lucky I never got irritated by it, but just that's something to keep in mind. So vitamin C is meant to be good for aging. Doesn't really matter too much for me. But brightens the skin as well. Um, 
smooths the surface. Yeah, it's supposed to help with glow, smoothing a surface. A lot of people says that it say that it stings, but it doesn't sting me. It does go quite grainy, which is why I didn't apply it today because I want to put on makeup straight after. Um, if I'm having a no makeup day, then it's fine. It kind of feels a bit grainy. So yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of other benefits to that. Um, honestly, I'm not the expert, but I know that it's really good to apply a vitamin C cream once a week to once every fortnight. So I do that and I do it during the day because it protects from the sun. But no, this has been laying on its side. No. In terms of when I have a pimple, I use the Mario Badescu drying lotion because it just like dries it right up, which is really nice. I really don't get that many pimples. When I do, it's either a really, really bad one or a pretty simple one but I've also used this on my boyfriend who gets quite bad pimples and um, yeah we both love it it really helps dry the problem up so that it can kind of just you know scab over and whatever it does so yeah this is really good in terms of face masks I like to keep it pretty natural so I have been at the moment using these um, little sachets I got from I think the brand's called Moo Moo Goo they're pretty natural just like moisturizing brightening face mask. If I'm having like really congested skin, I'll use maybe something like my Sukin or my Natio Clay mask, which is also natural. Lush has some really good masks as well. I just don't have any of them at the moment. So then if we get into nighttime, I still use my hyaluronic acid and then I either switch it up between two things. So I have um, a Sukin Purely Ageless Botanical Hydration Booster. This is like a serum oil and this is really good for nighttime because nighttime is when you really want to moisturize and give that, for me at least, you want to have that deep moisturizing kind of vibe. Every now and then I will also use this by The Ordinary which is the Gran Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. So retinoid is really good for anti-aging and I guess it's never too early to start your anti-aging. But I find, I think it's also really good for congested areas in my opinion like pores, congested pores. I read somewhere that retinoids can be really good for decongesting pores because it, it increases cell turnover so it's supposed to help with that and so I will just put it on like my chin and like around my kind of nose area, not on my whole face because I don't need it and I think why put it everywhere. But I'll put it, yeah, on my chin, on my nose area, and I think it does help. I only use this once every week or every two weeks. I really need to use it at the moment because I'm quite congested on my chin. Um, so yeah, that's a really interesting one. I'll then of course follow again with my eye cream and then my night cream is another Antipodes product. This is the Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream. It's just a really nice, thick, beautiful smelling night cream. So, you know, it's that uh, you put it on at the end and you, your moisture is like locked in. You're ready to go. Yeah, very luxurious. So I love that. And then I guess the last thing to speak about is micellar water. Um, so when I'm removing makeup, what I usually do is I kind of get the bulk off with a face wipe and then I'll use my micellar water to really get the rest off and I use it on an, um, a spoolie to clean off my eyelashes because I have eyelash extensions and then I'll use my face wash in the shower to get everything off. So I really get my makeup off in like three ways, which is probably possibly bad for my skin but I just don't like the idea of makeup still being in my pores. I'm one of those people, you know how like a lot of people come home drunk and they won't wash off their makeup, they'll just pass out? Mm -mm, that is not me. I have to take off my makeup and brush my teeth. I don't care if I'm like blackout drunk. Like if I wake up with my makeup still on, it means that something really bad has happened. The Sukin Micellar Cleansing Water is my favourite because there's a lot of other ones out there but I think this is the most natural I would say because it's Sukin. It's pretty cheap and it works well for me. I've been using it for ages. Go through this stuff like it's water. <laughs> all in all, I'm definitely not a skincare expert or anything by any means, um, but that is just kind of my skincare routine. I just wanted to share some of the new products I've been trying. It's all cruelty free and I've been really interested in The Ordinary as a brand because it's come out with some really interesting kind of more scientific -y products but at a really cheap price point. Obviously, I know you shouldn't skimp on your skin, which is why I do have those anti pose products, which are quite expensive. But then I think Sukin is a great brand as well, and I've had no problems with The Ordinary either. So I don't think necessarily them being a little more affordable is bad. I think the most important thing is to try and stick to mostly natural things. If you can afford expensive stuff, go for it, but it doesn't always necessarily mean it's better. Just make sure you're doing skincare, to be honest. I'm not perfect with it. There are a lot of days where I just can't be bothered or I forget and I just don't put on skincare. But I try and remember and get into the routine because I notice such a difference in my skin 
when I do my proper skincare routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little skincare routine. I hope you guys found it helpful in any way. Make sure to let me know if you did and let me know if your favourite uh, cruelty free skincare products are and I might give them a go. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!